Hello everyone, um, um, I'm going to talk about uh, how we can have a bullet chart with one categories in a previous video. You already see that how we can create a bullet chart with two categories. So if you remember, I have a data set uh, that was actually, I changed the adventure works and get some data from there. That was a data for 2007 for actually two different uh, categories of the English product subcategory, mountain bike and road bike. And we have a sales amount for uh, actually uh, 2007 and actually we have another one for 2006. So uh, actually uh, that was the one that we have and we are going to show it here. So this is the one that we created so as you see we have that so now in the this one uh, in another example i'm going to create a new uh, actually data set uh, because i'm going to show different date i'm going to show just the sales amount for the 2007 and 2006 for different month and compare together and i have the same uh, actually uh, the good and moderate constant value uh, for that one so if you think that for your different months the good and moderate can be changed so you can also change them but this is the one that i have so i changed the data set uh, to include uh, to actually disclose the english product category i don't want to look at that one so i uh, kind of just look at that one uh, for i think for just mountain bike so the information that you see here is for 2007 comparing 2007 with 2006 for mountain bike uh, so i'm going to load that one here so let me uh, actually go to the chart calculator so create new and I bring the data that I have. So you see that that's the one, it's all good. So here, just I change it to the category. Now I'm going to actually to create a chart. So first of all, I want to drag and drop the month for the X axis. So we have December, November, October, and the rest. Uh, I'm going to add the data axis because I want to identify the different range to be good, moderate, and uh, actually how's the uh, comparing sales last year with current year. So I'm going to add this one. Just be careful about that. So you see that this is a month when I'm added is actually is added here. So now if I back steps here, if I choose the middle line, so it's become exactly in the middle. So just uh, some differences that I really want to actually show that. So here, because I want to have a more space to create my bars here, I put it in the line over here. So uh, for that one, the schedule is based on the data access. So I drag and drop. So uh, another thing is that you see that is a start from uh, 200,000 200, to 600. So it's kind of vice versa. Why is that happen? Because when I click on that, let me just back to the before. So when I click on that, if I draw from down, uh, from actually bottom to up is uh, and I added that one to this you see that it's become start from 200,000 to 600,000 but if I draw it in the different way from here to here you will see that and add the sales amount you will see that it actually is different one so that's matter so that's kind of change it so just put it here then I put a sales amount and drag and drop good, uh, moderate. Just be careful that when you drag and drop, it become orange. So that's an important thing. And the sales last year. So I have everything here to see a maximized view of that. I just click on that to see what I have here. So first of all, I'm going to create a, a moderate one. So I draw a bar from here 
it's a bit so close together but just find it so from 200 to the average moderate then I'm going to draw it from here to the average good that's in this scenario it just is constant number and from good to the maximum number so if you want to see that so it should be something like this uh, again if I back to the chart so I want to create that indicator the indicator starts from zero and going up to the average sales amount so that's our indicator again I draw it I want to be the middle so I just change it it's a bit tricky because it's so small so it's better to zoom it to make it in the middle exactly for the become a nice one so something like this and I can now change the color everything is gray here so I click on the glyph on the shape 4 and I change it to the black so now you can see that actually we have different numbers now I'm going to set shape 1 shape 1 starts from 200 to 100,000 that's a, not a really good number so I put it uh, red for the shape two is getting a bit better. I put it yellow. And for the shape three is kind of the good one. I put uh, green. So this is actually same as the previous chart, just bit one uh, actually things. The other things that I want to actually to uh, do it is uh, put a line to show that how was last year. So I can compare it this year with last year to do that again uh, because it's so small i make it bigger so we can see that easily i'm going to put a line for the moderate one so for the last year so that's a line here i click on the line over here and draw a line straight to the end so you see that now we have a line the line needs to be a bit thicker so i change the line width you can also change the color to make sure so that's a line width. so you can see that for example in february march and april we are not really good but in december we are and november october and september we are doing great job you're also able to add a text uh, to see the for example this one or see the sales amount so for both of them i can click again here so everything in these marks, if you click on that, if they have a dot like this, it can be repeated for all points of the data. But when I click on the text box, it's become like a title of the chart, just repeat once. But if there is a, for example, for text is like that, for the image also is like that. So for text, I want to put it beside that. So I put here, close to the point here, maybe a bit up and i want to show that one is sales amount so that's a sales amount also you can specify for the the other one you can put a text for that one and same as the previous one i don't want to show that scale under here so i click on the data access i uncheck the position so it should be okay no. So the important things that I found, so I, uh, this one is the same that we have in Power BI. We have based on one axis. This is the one that we have. The only difference that we have in Chart Equalator, your data should be in the same format for that. So you just be careful what sort of the chart or for what sort of data you're creating. So it matters that what data you have here is impact on drawing your chart I, I have uh, i get some problem for example uh, i uh, so one of the mistake that i did for this chart i just removed the year because that was there and i just removed the product category i didn't notice that we have december for both so i have two number so just be careful about data cleaning you did that and uh, just change the better name for that Oh, I don't want to change the location, just the name. So it's a bullet chart uh, for one column. And you can, yeah, everything, you can change it 
I just change the uh, everything so I don't want to do that maybe yeah so see that how is the color or for example the color should be green or red whatever so this is a one you can save it you can save it to your chart bullet chart one category and you can uh, export it click on export for the power bi custom visual so here instead of the month you can set category any category this can be any values this can be a uh, last value or something like that and good and moderate and uh, if you want to show the objects to change you can put it here you can enable drill drawn for that highlight put a name for that bullet chart one category something like that sorry about my bad naming and also if you want to put your email and change the icon i don't have an icon for now so i just set power bi custom visual so it's going to download for me a pvis one i'm going to i can open now my power bi and actually use it so here i'm going to get the data that i have that was a csv file just take a minute to bring it so that's a one so i bring the data at the same time, just check it to be the correct one. You can choose the other one to test it, but I just for now, because I want to see that how it look like here. And here, same as importing a visual from a file, you can choose the second option, import it. And uh, on my download, that's one. And because it doesn't have the specific logo, it shows the chart calculator logo. And here you can see the values that I have. So uh, actually this one. So is it good for good model? You get some message that is not data complete. That is correct. So amount, sales amount, sales amount last. So that's a chart that I have. Of course, I should do some data, you know, uh, just is not correctly because the data format here, I didn't check it. So the month is not categorical. So maybe I should change that one. But it actually shows the same thing for ourself. Uh, and you can also go to the data format. Uh, you can specify the plot segment. You can change the data access. Uh, font and everything and also for example the line color instead of that you can change it to uh, kind of the whatever you want you can change it so I think it should be change it should be change here maybe yeah so it, oh that's a data access sorry I think that's the line no, for the the line because I removed the data access. Sorry, I mean that the line. So you can change the color of the line to whatever you want. The shape, one, four, and everything can be changeable here. The title, uh, the margin of the chart. So everything that you see there, you can actually change it. So quite flexible to change everything over here you can add the tooltip and the other thing so also you can use it for the other data we can check it to see that how we can use it for other data but it should be the same thanks so much for watching this video uh, i hope that in future i bring more uh, charts in chart corrector i'm saying that i'm exploring it myself to figure out how it works there is not uh, very uh, that's actually documentation the only things that i have is a gallery over there i try to play and see how it works so hopefully it gets much more major <laughs> Uh, next videos and i'm really happy if you have any specific chart that you have in your mind just tell me and uh, just maybe email me uh, my email address is or is in the twitter both is okay so just text me or email me through that so my email is leila 
at radicat.com so just text me that one or on the twitter that is my handle so both is works to me so just uh, let me know if you have any specific uh, charts that you have in mind and you want to actually to uh, draw it uh, i do my best to create it with articulator and kind of you can publish it free so other people also can use it thanks so much for watching this video